Hello everyone. My name is Fame Ebon. And today is going to be another session for soap making. And we'll be making baiting soap. Soap used for baiting. As you can see here, the oil we're using here is palm kernel oil. This oil is so special. This oil is high in lauric acid, mystric acid, and palmic acid. All this acid in palm kernel oil makes it produce a hard, high cleansing bar with a full leather when used in a soap making formula. Oils with high cleansing properties are good for making baiting soap. That's why you should go for oils with high cleansing properties if you want to make a baiting soap. So let's see how this is done. Thank you and watch.
So I will take the soap out of the mold. This soap, I kept them for 12 hours. It won't be hard enough. What's going to happen is that I will leave it for at least three to four weeks for it to go through a curing process. During the curing process, any lye or caustic soda that is remaining in the soap will keep on reacting with the oils left in your soap till it finally turns to soap. So any caustic soda or lye left in that soap during the curing period will be reacting with the leftover oil in your soap so that you will not end up having a soap that will be peeling your skin or having a soap that has too much of caustic soda inside. So you get why you see why your soap has to go through a curing process. It's very important for your soap to cure. All right, so I'm going to leave the soap for at least three to four weeks. Then it will be ready for use and I can use it.